Jury Selection for Alec Baldwin's Trial, A Fascinating Start A Unique Context In the world of film and television, few figures generate as much polarized opinion as Alec Baldwin. This phenomenon was evident during the jury selection for his trial, where he faces involuntary manslaughter charges for the tragic death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the set of the film Rust in 2021. Baldwin, who has pleaded not guilty, insists he had no reason to believe the gun he was handling was loaded with live ammunition. The Challenge of Selecting an Impartial Jury On Tuesday, Judge Mary Marlowe Sommer kicked off jury selection with an unusual question, how many of you have not seen or heard anything about this case from any source whatsoever? Out of 70 potential jurors, only a couple raised their hands. One explained, I don't have cable or internet or anything like that. A high-profile case. Most potential jurors were familiar with the case. Baldwin, 66, was rehearsing a scene when the gun he was holding fired a live round, killing Hutchins. The prosecution argues that Baldwin was criminally negligent and charged him with involuntary manslaughter. Baldwin counters that he was assured the gun was cold, meaning it was safe and could not fire. Questioning the jurors. During the selection process, Prospective jurors were questioned about their views on guns, their connections to the film industry, and any other factors that might affect their impartiality. One potential juror mentioned his daily use of medical marijuana as a possible hindrance to serving on the jury. Defense attorney Alex Spiro probed the jurors' perceptions of Baldwin, referencing potential biases formed by Baldwin's roles in films or his impersonations on Saturday Night Live. Does anyone have a view that would cause you to lean against him in some way? Spiro asked. Baldwin and his family in court. Dressed in a gray suit and thick framed glasses, Baldwin observed the proceedings from across the room, occasionally taking notes and consulting with his lawyer. In the back row of the courtroom sat his wife, Ilaria Baldwin, and one of his brothers, actor Stephen Baldwin. Preconceived Opinions a few potential jurors admitted up front that they did not believe they could judge the case objectively. One said, I have read the case extensively and reviewed it, and I don't feel that I can be fair. Lead prosecutor Carrie T. Morrissey questioned jurors on whether their media consumption had shaped their opinions about the case and whether they had already formed views on whether Baldwin should have been prosecuted. Expectations for the trial Baldwin's lawyers have criticized the prosecution as a misguided attempt to convict a celebrity in a high-profile case. Although Baldwin has spoken publicly about the incident in the past, he has remained silent leading up to the trial, allowing his legal team to handle communications. There's a man who is sitting here who has his day in court now, finally, Spiro told the jurors. Opening arguments are set to begin on Wednesday, and the trial is expected to last about two weeks.